Welcome back to our last video that we're going to do on RV Trip Wizard. So we are in the current process of reviewing RV Trip Wizard and showing you some of the great features and why we love this software so much and planning our adventures. <music> Welcome to Tigner Adventures. My name is David and my wife Ninette and our little cat Tansy. We live full time in our motorhome. And one of the things that is very helpful to us as we are traveling around the area is RV Trip Wizard. And so today we are doing our last video, a three part video on RV Trip Wizard. And so if you look here, you can see the things that um, the last couple videos that we had and get an idea of what this is all about. But we do have three videos. The first one was talking about all the features of RV Trip Wizard. The second one was actually planning a trip. And now we're going to take the trip that we planned and we're going to show you how to use some of the other features of uh, RV Life, which is the company that uh, puts out RV Trip Wizard. They also have an app that goes on your phone. So before we get started, I wanted to just direct your attention here. This is our trip that we um, actually planned in part two. We are leaving on Monday, September 6th. Now, if you look down through here, we're going to be getting gas on September 6th, and then we're going to go down to this campground that's just outside of Mesa Verde National Park um, on September 6th. But we haven't left yet. <laughs> so, and this happens quite often is that uh, we'll plan something uh, we'll plan to be somewhere at some point and then things change right so one of the easy things to do here is I'm just gonna go into this uh, top feature here and I'm just gonna edit my start and I'm gonna say that um, today is the 10th so I'm gonna say I'm leaving on the 10th so I am now going to walk out the door and get going I'm just gonna save that and you'll notice over here on the left that it has automatically updated my dates to be um, in accordance with this new leave time. So that's one of the things I really like about RV Trip Wizard is that it's very dynamic. We can modify it as we go. Uh, for example, you know, we put in some gas stations in here, but as we're going along, if we see a good price somewhere, maybe we don't go the full uh, time and we just happen to come into a town that's got some good pricing on gas, we'll go ahead and fill up then. And I'll just add that in here so it just kind of keeps track of things as we're going along. And that's one of the nice things I like about RV Trip Wizard compared to other uh, mapping softwares that I've tried to actually use. And we will review some of them and, and I'll kind of point out some of those difficulties. But this actually makes it very, very simple. And so that's why we use it. And the other thing that's really nice is that it automatically saves all my changes as I make them. Uh, remember, I, I said there was one drawback to that because if you accidentally delete something, it's gone. There's no undo, which is kind of annoying, but uh, you know, just don't delete things accidentally. But uh, anyway, uh, our trip is done, it's saved. I'm going to get it out of RV Trip Wizard here and I'm just gonna go into their site uh, for RV Life. Remember, RV Life is a blanket. It has a lot of different uh, things that come with RV Life with your actual membership. And so that if you look down through here, um, you can use it to do our GPS routing, and that's what we're going to show you real quick. It's got uh, things that are actually on, you know, the app that includes, allows you to do a lot of different options. And RV Life app is now part of RV Life Pro Suite, which is nice. So they've combined all of this together for that one uh, price, and that is a subscription price. But now it does include RV Trip Wizard. Uh, we also have Maintain Your RV. It's a maintenance tracker. So that's another little app that you get for free. Well, I guess it's not for free, right? Because you're paying a fee for the service, but there's a lot. It's a very enriched service that you actually get. Um, on the RV Life site, you can see that um, they have the app here. And this actually runs on your phone compared to RV Trip Wizard, only runs in a web browser. And best if you use it on like a um, computer when you're actually doing it instead of trying to do it on your phone. Um, the app runs on your phone and you can choose which phone uh, depending on what kind of phone you have. You can actually download the app. So the first thing I'm going to do is select the actual app on my phone. 
So as I bring up the app, it uh, comes on up, and then I'm going to um, just click on the bottom here where it says Campgrounds. And you'll notice that one of the options here is I say Access RV Trip Wizard uh, with trips that you've already planned. And so the first time I do this, I have to actually log in with my ID and password from RV Trip Wizard, and that's what ties the two um, apps together. And then you'll notice that I had two trips on RV Trips Wizard that I was using, and the one is our Summer 2021. That is the one that is actively being used right now. And then the Fun Trip 2021 is the one that we've created for this uh, video. And so I'm going to go ahead and just select that. So you can see I've selected my trip here, and it's got all of the different stops that I put in. So if we look on here on RV Trip Wizard on my computer, it matches what is on my phone. So that's really nice that they're actually tied together that way. The other thing I wanted to point out is that if you notice here, the first couple stops here for September 10th have a different coloring on them than the ones for like, for example, September 14th. And that's just saying these are the things that are happening today. And so that's that makes it really easy, especially on our other trip that we've got a, you know, the whole summer laid out. I can easily just go down through the list and see where it's highlighted so I can just jump onto those to route to the next one. Now, most of the places that we're going, we usually have cell service, and so we usually can have service and everything. But one of the nice features of this is we can actually download the maps ahead of time and be able to look up some uh, RV routings uh, for our trip and kind of see where things are going. Now, one of the things that this does have an issue with is that if you did any custom routing where you did drag and drop and things like that within the app, I mean, sorry, within the web uh, browser, they don't carry over to this right now. And they are uh, working on an update to make it so that this does exact. But the issue they said they have is that if I bring this up and I planned to start at, say, Salt Lake City, but now I'm in Provo, for example, or maybe even somewhere even off the beaten path, um, and I say route, it's gonna route me from there, um, and so it's gonna pick out a route that's, that's RV friendly, but that route may not be exactly what I was thinking. Now, it does sometimes give me options, and I can look at it and choose, but you just need to be aware of that. But uh, let's go ahead and just say, um, our first stop is going to be Conoco, that's the place that we're going to. So I'm just going to touch this right angle arrow here. And you'll see that it'll come up here. And again, it gives me the options about how I want this routing to work. And mainly this is because it's not completely linked with RV Trip Wizard other than just pulling up the uh, destinations for the time being. And if I don't want to use the RV friendly map that they have, I can use other maps. Uh, for example, Apple or Google or, or um, you know, whatever that you actually want to use. You can use those too. So anyway, so um, here's some uh, things here um, that I have. So welcome to RV Life's RV Safe GPS Directions. And, you know, it just kind of goes through their terms and things. You can just click here that says don't show me again. I usually just kind of ignore this and I just say got it. And now it's brought my trip up here. There was only one direction really getting there. Um, out to where we're going, which is going to be in Green River, Utah. And so uh, it's directed me that way. And so no big deal. I can just say start and it works just like After a standard a GPS. A mile, turn left and so that's one of the nice 38. things. The difference is that this one is RV friendly again. Remember, we there's certain RV things that we have to keep in, you know, context here, like when, you know, it's elevation, you know, the sharp curves, the whether we have propane on board, we can't go through tunnels in some states, then in those situations we want to make sure that um, we're being safe and that's what this app actually does. Now I usually place this uh, right here on my rig. Um, I have this little spot that I've made here that uh, I can put my phone, I plug it in and I can actually monitor and look at the map as we're driving and there's a couple reasons for this. Uh, sometimes the GPS and it's I've noticed that I've ran into this even with um, Apple's maps where sometimes it gets confused as to where it is and it will think that I'm not really on the freeway, for example, and I'm on some side road. So 
Uh, it's really uh, kind of annoying when all of a sudden you're just going down the freeway and then it says, uh, take a left turn here and take a right turn here, do a U-turn or whatever, <laughs> you know, and you're going, what the heck? And so having it right where I can kind of keep an eye on the map all the time, I can easily look over and go, it got lost. And uh, so I don't know that that's an RV trip wizard thing, but I have sent a number of examples to them that I ran into mainly in Wyoming. And uh, they have uh, forwarded those on to the development team. And they are, like I said, you know, their, their customer service is really great. And they're just right on it. They send emails back to me and ask questions and whatever the case might be. So anyway, they're good at that. And, uh, and so anyway, by having this up here, um, as I'm driving, then I can easily glance at it as I'm going along, especially if I'm in cities and things like that where I'm going to be making a turn um, coming up or something like that, and, and I want to make sure I get on the right road. Uh, it's easy to be able to kind of just look, glance over there and see that as I'm coming up to the turn to make sure that I'm turning on the correct road as I'm going. And so that's, that really helps out a lot. So that is basically um, utilizing the app that actually comes with RV Life and the software. And this is what makes this so easy to use is it's so nice and takes all the hassle out of navigating my trip because it's just all right here. So again, I plan it all on the laptop and then once that's all done and I can make changes to this however many times I want, I can change my routes, I can change you know, how many stops I have and then that automatically updates the uh, RV Life app on my phone so that I can out now be routed to the place that I, I'm planning on going. So things change, you know, it's very, very dynamic. Um, and for $49, I mean, you can become app poor, I agree. But there are some things that are worth having and it makes it uh, nice to, uh, you know, it's worth spending the extra money on. Um, so, you know, at least consider it, look at it, try out their demo. I mean, that's what's uh, nice is that they actually let you uh, try it out. They do have a lot of um, videos that are out on it too to kind of give you some ideas. They do have a nice manual that you can look at to help you out. The only thing that I really, um, I guess, don't like about this right now is just the elevation piece of it where it, uh, you know, doesn't get that elevation, that road in front of me, it says it's at the wrong elevation than what it is. And I wanna actually see those. Uh, that's something that they're working on. And so what we're gonna do is um, on our next video, we're actually going to talk about a, another software package that, uh, that we found that allows us to look at all those roads that we should be kind of paying attention to when we're riding around in our RV so that we don't get stuck into some uh, situations. And I'll tell you one of the ones that we did get stuck on that was really quite a nightmare. So anyway, that'll be our next video. So I just want to say thanks for watching. Hope this little series on the three videos of RV Trip Wizard is helpful to you. Please make comments. Thanks for following us and we'll just uh, see you down the road and hopefully it'll be on our next video.